Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the watched web browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV. That's an amazing web browser for a Fire Stick because it has an integrated mouse toggle as well as an ad blocker. So it's a perfect browser for watching multimedia, videos online, movies and so on. And now without any further ado, let me show you how to get watched browser to your device. And first of all, you'll have to get an app called Loader, and you can actually get it totally for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we just have to go to search on your device right here, open the search bar, and start typing the loader in the search. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader, and that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get the loader, it is not over yet. We still have to set it up. So in order to actually stop the loader, we have to go to settings. So click on that button with a gear icon. Then you have to scroll down until you find My Fire TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you are unable to find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So, if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have popped out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, you just have to locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it, and there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's, of course, connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Romania right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So you go to the list of apps, open up the loader, and wait until it loads for you. Then here, on the left side menu, click on Home, and now in that search bar, we gotta enter a link, which is gonna be watched.com. So let's enter that link together. Once again, it's watched.com. Here you go, enter the link as you see, and then you have to click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. And after the website has loaded, we need to click on that download button right here, and then press on get it on Android button. And in a couple of moments, the download is going to start, and usually that doesn't take long, 
but of course it all depends on the connection speed on your device. Then you have to click install and wait until watched gets installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on your device type of course. And after the app was installed, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we have an option to delete the installation files from your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. Now finally let's go to the list of apps in our Fire Stick, open it, and there at the bottom you'll find watched, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way watched is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it will be easier for you to access the app every time you need it. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.